Hello, today I wanted to make a really quick video showing you how to download, install, and use the Shopify CLI 3.0. Um, so this is an updated CLI that Shopify recently released, and it has a bunch of functionality that makes uh, working with Shopify and its themes um, and other aspects of Shopify very easy. So the first thing that you're going to do is determine whether you're on Mac or Windows um, or Linux. So for Mac, which is what I'm on, you're going to have to do brew, tap, Shopify, slash, Shopify. Now keep in mind, I already have this package installed, so the actual, uh, the terminal messages might look a bit different for me than they do for you. So I'm going to go ahead and cut to when this is done uh, tapping. Now that it's finished tapping, the next command that you're going to run is brew, install, Shopify, dash, CLI. And for me, it's going to say that Shopify CLI is already installed, but for you, it will just install the package instead. Now to confirm that you've installed it correctly, run Shopify version. And it should show you the version right there. Perfect. So for Windows and Linux, you're only going to need to run one command, which is going to be npm install dash g for global at Shopify slash CLI at Shopify slash theme. Just like that, and since I'm not on Windows, I'm not going to run that, um, but I am going to leave a link in the description to the documentation for installation of Shopify CLI 3.0. Now I've gone ahead and um, logged into my MetaField demonstration Shopify uh, store development store, which I've been using for demonstrations on my YouTube channel over the past couple weeks. And so what I was going to do is pull down the theme locally and show you a few of the commands that I like to use in the CLI. However, um, there's a few things that we need to go over first. So the first thing is I want to show you the command to see all the other commands. So Shopify commands will give you a large list of all the different commands that you can use. Perfect. And then here's... I'm going to show you what's going to happen if I try and pull. I'm going to do Shopify theme pull, and then I'm going to specify the store since for work I have multiple stores that I use, so um, I have to switch between them. Meta field demonstration. What is it? Meta field demonstration. Dot my Shopify. Dot com, and it's going to ask me to log in here. So once you see this command or this uh, prompt here, you're going to go press any key inside the terminal. Go ahead and auth yourself in to the account that's associated with the store. You can go ahead and close that tab and come back. And so this is actually a bug that I've been seeing. Uh, I've gotten this a couple times, and I did some research, and it looks like it is a bug with the Shopify CLI. But that's fine. There's a workaround. So what you need to do is you need to go to your store. You go to Settings, Users and Permissions, and you need to Add Staff. And then go ahead and add yourself. So I'm going to fill out my information here. Uh, and let's see. Perfect. And then I'm going to go ahead and select all. Select all permissions for the store. And then I'm going to press send invite. Just confirm. Once you've sent the staff invite, you're going to go over to your email and find the email that uh, is sent to you from the meta, from your store. So in my case, it's Metafield Demonstration, asking you to create a staff account. So I'm going to go ahead and create a staff account. I'm going to go ahead and log in on my Shopify again and accept the invite. And there we are. Invite and set accepted. I am now a staff account and a partner account and the owner of the store. I'm going to go ahead and run that theme poll again. And then you're going to see a list here. In my case, there's actually only one theme. So I'm just going to press enter. It's going to pull down the live theme. And it should only take a minute here. Uh, and I'm going to go ahead and come back when this is done. Now that the Shopify theme is down, done downloading, I'm going to go ahead and run a develop, the run the theme in development mode. Um, so it can be run locally, and you can update the theme locally and then push it up live later. 
So what I'm gonna do to do that is run Shopify theme dev. When I run that, it's gonna take a second here. It's gonna give you three links. It's gonna start up the theme, sync all the information up. It's almost done here. And there it is. It's gonna give you these three links. One is just showing you the local host. So mine's running on local host 9292. Um, and then you're going to see that you have this theme editor. So this is where you can go to customize the theme usually in the Shopify dashboard. But this is just for the local development theme. And then you can share the theme preview um, with this link. I think this uses ngrok. Perfect. So let's go ahead and open up the theme. All right. I've now bypassed the password. I, I did not realize I had a password on the store. Um, so this is my store running completely locally, as you can see here. Now let me go into the t-shirt here. Um, let me find something that I can edit. Okay, so I'm inside the product form here um, that I used for a couple demonstrations in the past. So I'm just going to go ahead and throw some random text in here. Random text demo exclamation points. And I'm going to go ahead and save that. And you can see down here, it just updated. And come back, and there it is. It is right there. Um, theme updates in real, in real time as you update the code. So the last thing I want to show you is pushing this back live. So if I go back to my Metafield demonstration page here, and let's see, I'll get rid of the admin up there and enter the store password come back to the test product so you can see this product still does not have that edited code on there because this is the live store while this is localhost so I'm going to show you how to push that live very quickly so you go ahead and end the live demo or the uh, the localhost server and then you go Shopify theme push and it's going to give you a list of the themes and so this development one is the one that is is local to your machine the dawn in my case is the one that's live and i'm going to go ahead and click on dawn click yes and it will go ahead and push and i'm going to come back when that's done great now that that's complete i can go ahead and head back to this product page this is the local host sorry this is the live product page i'm going to go ahead and refresh and there it is ram text demo so this is now live on my site. So I hope this video helped. If it did, please leave a like and subscribe.